So today is day seven of our 30 day challenge. And if you've done all the challenges this far, you've already got one week down. You've done a quarter of the challenge already. So give yourself a little pat on the back. We're getting, getting it done. And today, this one might be a little hard for some people. Um, today we're gonna go through our books. And I know that for me, sometimes it, I like books and I can tend to hoard them. And I have a lot of friends that are avid readers and just love books and um, yeah, but they can take over your house. So, um, and I know other people who don't read. So if you're not a reader, you don't collect books, I guess you get the day off. But um, I'm gonna put magazines in this one too, because I know people who, um, they tend to collect magazines and they just stack up and stack up and they may have an article or something in it that they wanna use and they never use it and they're just, taking up space and collecting dust. So obviously um, magazines can be recycled. Actually books can be recycled as well, um, but if you're a diehard book re lover, that seems kind of like blasphemy, right? So what can we do with our books? Well, of course we can donate them to thrift stores and used bookstores, and some used bookstores will even pay you for your books. Another thing that you can do is donate them for, to libraries or schools if they're appropriate for, you know, the age of the school that you're you're donating them to. Um, hospitals, nursing homes, place hospitals, nursing homes, places where um, people are maybe shut in. Another thing you can do, we had one of these at a place that I used to work, is a book swap. So. Um, you know, you could designate a place in your workspace where people bring books in that they don't want to keep any longer and they set them there and you, you know, and then you can take, take a book and bring a book, you know, back and forth like that. So that's a, that's an idea as well. But, you know, books, books can be kind of valuable and you want to keep the ones that you use, that you go back to regularly, that you love. So, you know, there's some books that I've read over and over and over again. I just love the story. And um, there are reference books that I use frequently, maybe not every day, but you know, frequently in different things that I'm interested in or work or things that I want to, um, you know, develop within myself. So you know, I'm not telling you to get rid of all of your books. I'm not telling you that books are bad. I'm just telling you that some people, some people, can let them get out of hand in their lives, and we want to take control of that. So. Okay, guys, congratulations on making it a quarter of the way through. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you like what, I, um, what I'm doing right now with these 30-day challenges. Give me comments below if you have questions or suggestions or just want to say hey. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.